it's safe to say that you know you you experienced um your doubters early on and um i think one of the quotes you say in the book i've got you um you remember hearing the words i don't think you'll ever go anywhere but that's up to you and you also mentioned um you thought maybe your dad was doubting you when you first made that uh career choice did this level of doubt and um people underestimating you did that drive you at all did that build into your ambition yes it did absolutely did you know no one likes no one likes to be told maybe the truth i guess that you ain't good enough or you can't do it and i'll be very honest with you and you'll hear people say that well if you put your mind to it and you really concentrate you can do anything that's that's bullshit you can't <laughs> you cannot but what you certainly can do is do better and 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 as long as you you have the drive and the enthusiasm and the focus you will be in a better place from where you very very started at you know i've been my dad my dad kind of doubted me but i didn't realize this till later on because he wanted me to prove to him that i could do it and it was kind of he knew the aggressive side of things wouldn't work with me it was the kind of the the, the passive more you know Firing that bow thing across my 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 bow, saying that well, you ain't gonna make it. You, you you can't do it. It was a kick up the ass I needed to go. You know what? I'm gonna do this to prove it to me, and to prove it to you. So that that's what how I saw it, uh, how I read it. And actually, in my dad's case, it was definitely the right the right way. And my school teacher, Mr. Noon, who's, who I'm quoting there in the book, he did. He was the he was the careers guy, and he said to me, he was, you, "You're going nowhere." You, you know, basically you're nobody. And I just thought, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. And I always remember it, you know. And when I was going through the hard, hardships of going through training, in the back of my mind when I was feeling, I don't know if I can do this, those things bounced into my head. I ain't going to let myself down to let my dad down. I ain't going to let him myself, myself down to prove to him that he was right. And it, it gave me that extra little bit of focus and drive to go forward along with my mantra of always going a little bit further. And those psychological sort of components really did help me, hundred percent, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, and um, another another quote that interested me in the book is yeah. um, you mentioned when you were a cadet, you were listening to the the Falkland stories, and and you were jealous, yeah. and you said the quote I've got here is, "I wanted to be challenged. I wanted to be in a situation where I had to make big decisions." Why did this? idea of being challenged so hard why was that so appealing to you again to prove that i was somebody to prove i was worth to people so people could you know turn to me and go wow you know what a quality sort of person but to be able to in, in that time of diversity and difficulty he's one of those he, i wanted to be a leader i guess i wanted to prove that i i i'm somebody and i know what i'm doing i, I mean even today though and and back then in, in the times of conflict and war that I've been through with the regiment and stuff, I've made those decisions and nobody knows, no matter what experience you have, whether it's the right or wrong one, you'll know it's the right one by coming out the other end of it and, and achieving the results, which thank God I did. But so I've always wanted that challenge. I always wanted, can I, can I do it? You know, first time I ever went into any conflicts, I was, am I going to be good enough? Am I going to sort of cower down or am I going to stand tall and lead and go forward? And I did. And it was, it, I, I do love those challenges. So that was the reason for it, to, just for self-proof and, and to have people around me to believe in me and trust in me, you know? 